You might be surprised to find out how many Division I prospects and top flight pitchers there are right here in South Dakota. O'Gorman's Reese Arbogast had an explosive sophomore campaign last spring. He demonstrated unparalleled command with an unheard of 0.84 whip. I feel like when I'm the most effective, I'm getting ahead and counts, throwing a lot of strikes, throwing three pitches for strikes, and that's really kind of my game plan coming in every, every game. Fastball, slider, and change. And he's developing a cutter, which he hopes to have ready soon. He caught the eyes of South Dakota State as his team took the spring title at O'Gorman. The coaches up there and their program, it really made it a pretty easy decision for me. And I mean, I really like the facilities, the program, the coaches. I mean, it's just, I feel like it's just going to be a great fit for me. Jake is a big frame kid who's always loved the craft of pitching. I love pitching. I've been pitching ever since I can remember. Back in Little League, maybe before that, I've always been a pitcher. Uh, so back when I was in middle school, but in, uh, before that, I was kind of wild to say. I always had the arm strength, but I was always, the command was not there. And I feel like I've been developing that a lot better since I've been getting older, just working on pitches and all that kind of stuff. And I think it's been getting better. His command has come a long way. He had an impressive sophomore campaign last year, netting almost a strikeout per inning and posting a 6-1 record. Jake got noticed at a tournament in Mitchell last year when SDSU contacted his coach and they set up contact. And he soon thereafter committed to play baseball at SDSU. Brady Hawkins made a name for himself in every sport that he suited up but baseball was the sport that he felt that he had the best future in. So he decided to commit to South Dakota State for baseball, where he'll pitch and play infield. He earned All-State honors last summer with Mitchell's post-18, while posting a 1.38 ERA and a perfect 6-0 record. Wichita State doesn't take a chance on many sophomores, but they did on Austin Henry. Last January, Henry accepted a scholarship offer from Wichita State his first offer. Since they were willing to believe in me, I kind of just thought I'd believe in them, you know? And that was that was kind of before, like, my, uh, my name kind of got bigger on different baseball sites across the Midwest. And they believed me really before everyone else kind of did. So I just got to give them that. He topped out at 88 miles per hour over the winter and continues to improve. He's a deliberate pitcher who doesn't get ruffled, and he's working on mixing a curveball and a changeup into his repertoire. Cole Hupke is a big game pitcher with a big body, big arm, and big personality. He's been pitching in those big games for Brandon Valley since he was a sophomore, and he helped them win a spring state title. He throws his fastball in the 84 to 88 mile an hour range and locates his curve for a strikeout pitch. He throws a good change in slider as well. He's planning to attend NIACC in Iowa to pitch next year. Branson Keel's 92 mile an hour fastball sat down almost two hitters per inning for one of the premier teams in the state in post 22. The Stevens Jr. got attention from several Power Five colleges, but it was Utah in the Pac 12 that got his commitment. They saw me a couple times in a few tournaments, and I just started talking to him and I really liked the coaching staff and everything there. Although he does a great job mixing the fastball and slider for strikes, he says it's the mental game that makes him so potent on the mound. I would say just the ability to use my fastball with the slider. Um, I like to, I don't know, I try to choose like weaknesses I know about hitters and that's what I try to use to my advantage. So. Chase Mason made a big impact in several sports during his junior campaign, but baseball might be his best sport. It's going to be a tough decision on which sport to pursue in college. I guess I've kind of narrowed it down just to baseball and football right now. So it's kind of whatever sport I'm playing at that time that's kind of my favorite, but uh, I just, I've just always liked baseball as a kid and just it's kind of hard to get recognized from the Midwest, so no one really knows if you're a good baseball player or not until you you can really look into like research and stuff like that and be really eye-opening on how I compare to other kids in the nation and stuff like that. Chase recently hit 92 miles per hour on his fastball. 
but he can also hit the ball hard as demonstrated by his 105 mile per hour exit velocity. Kentucky, Missouri, Michigan State, and Wichita State have all reached out to talk to Chase about college baseball. Chase is a slide step guy who is a command pitcher. He leans on his fastball and slider. Last year, he added the curve for strikes. If I get the slider and curveball working on the same day, then it can be a hard day for the hitters, but those are kind of my two pitches. Will Simmons got the chance to play varsity baseball as a freshman last year, and he said he learned a lot. Honestly, not as bad as I expected. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think obviously it was quite cold last year, but of course I really improved with my off-season workouts, improved velocity, and I've done the same this year, and it's just... It's been really improving and really great with the program I'm at right now. Will made a big splash at the prep baseball report workouts when he placed as one of the top fastball pitchers at the event. While he's working on this slider and change, he focuses on pinpointing his fastball. His ultimate goal is to play in the SEC. SEC is the main goal. Like Mississippi State is my dream college, um, but around here, uh, Minnesota is great. I went to other camp this spring. And... Tyler recorded one of the most dominant seasons in Class B baseball last spring. He gave up just one earned run all year. He's part of a stable of arms in Madison, including Aspen Dahl, Zach Whitlock, and Evan Applewick. But it was Tappy who took the brunt of the innings for Madison and diced up hitters for 1.7 strikeouts per inning. Well, I've always kind of just thought, kind of like, grip it and rip it. I think, uh, yeah, if you're just having fun out there, you're going to do good things. It helps when you have a great defense behind me. And, yeah, I think, yeah, when you have a great defense behind you, you can just pitch and have fun, and, yeah, that goes a long ways. He throws well on the low outside corner. He focuses on location and works fast, which he thinks gives him the advantage. Tyler is committed to play quarterback at Dakota State next year, Although he'll be focusing on football, he wants to keep playing baseball when he can. Gannon Thompson seems to be able to do anything. He's an all-state caliber basketball player and baseball player. He splits his time playing outfield and pitching in baseball and excels at both. Thompson recently decided to further his baseball career by playing for the Michigan State Spartans. He described the whirlwind recruiting process. Well, it's kind of a fluke almost. Uh, the head coach, Coach Boss, uh, he was at a tournament that I was at, but he was truly supposed to go into another game. That game got canceled, and he ended up over at ours. Walked into the stadium right as I was up to bat, and was able to get a solid line drive out in the right center, get a trip off that. The recruiting coordinator for the next two weeks, pretty much, we were spending out there in Indianapolis. And, just had probably one of my best two weeks of my career, honestly. He'll play outfield as his primary position, but hopes to pitch at MSU as well. He throws his fastball in the high 80s and works fast. He relies almost entirely on pounding the zone. Occasionally, he will drop a slow curve and hopes to add the third pitch by the time he becomes a full-time Spartan. Zach has been the ace for the Rapid City Post-22 team over the past two years. He has a perfect 17-0 record in that time. Last year, he was arguably the best Legion pitcher in the state. The Stevens Sr. signed to play baseball at Butler Community College in Kansas. Whitesell commands a fastball as well as anyone in the state and mixes his curve and change in effectively. Gray Zabel is a classic all-around athlete. He's the best basketball player in Pierre, and he's heading to North Dakota State to play football next fall. But some think baseball is his best sport. He's an absolute dominant lefty who stands in at 6'6 and comes in hot. He routinely hits 89 miles per hour on the gun and mixes in some great movement. Last spring, he posted a ridiculous 1.6 strikeouts per inning and had a sub-1 ERA to go with it. He had an all-state season in the spring with Pierre, and he followed it up with an all-state season in the summer.